Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from the Black Business School. A lot of you have asked me about um, Apple and the stock split for Apple. Uh, is that a good or a bad thing? What does that mean? Uh, typically companies split their stock if they feel that the price has gotten so high that they wanna get back into a specific trading range. That's what they call the clientele effect. Uh, the clientele effect basically says, look, if our price is lower and more manageable, we can attract a specific clientele. Uh, we're gonna get certain people that are gonna be interested in our stock who didn't feel comfortable buying at the higher price. I think Apple, um, I, I have some shares in Apple. I think they were trading uh, almost at $400 a share or around there, if I'm not mistaken, uh, before the split. So uh, now with the four, four for one split, I believe it's four for one, the share should be trading about $100 a share. Uh, so you have a different clientele. Uh, when you have a different clientele and the shares are more affordable, uh, it can increase demand for the stock, which can sometimes increase the price. Another reason that stock splits tend to uh, work is because uh, you have uh, more liquidity uh, in, in in the stock, which you know from which will increase investor interest. Uh, the market makers uh, they have what they call the bid ask spread, which is a liquidity measure uh, that that sort of determines. Uh, how hard it is to trade the stock uh, when you want to buy and you want to sell. So low shares with lower prices tend to just be more liquid. You know, so for example, it's like if you go buy a house or sell a house, that's not a very liquid market. Um, houses are hard to sell because they're big and bulky. But what if you could buy, you know, 1% of a house? You know, if you took a house and chopped it into a thousand pieces and you were selling little tiny pieces of a house, they might be that might be a little bit easier to sell than selling an entire big bulky house. So, uh, so with stocks that have a high price, Price, they tend to be less liquid so reducing the price through a stock split can increase the liquidity also it changes the trading range which might draw in more demand which will uh, in many cases increase the stock price because of that higher demand but then also another thing is that some people uh, receive what they call a signaling effect from the management they believe uh, some investors believe and again these theories are contested in academia but this is one that's out there that when in that when managers split their stock it's because they believe that they need to go ahead and split it because the price is going to keep going up so in a lot of cases you're going to see a, a bump up in the price of a share uh, you know based on the stock split it doesn't always happen that way but a lot of times it does happen that way so that's what a stock split is and that's what it means so if you own some apple congratulations um it was right after apple had a really positive earnings announcement so uh you know good news for all the apple investors and good news for the economy at large because um you know, the, these uh, strong earnings reports from the tech stocks is something that is uh, driving the NASDAQ and it's letting us know that there, there's good news on the horizon for the economy as a whole. So uh, take care, guys. I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins. Make sure you subscribe at the Black Financial Channel. That's theblackfinancialchannel.com. And also, if you want to learn to buy your first share of stock or just get free information from the Black Business School, please visit firstshareofstock.com. That's firstshareofstock.com. Take care, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.